Hi, so we're uh, we're going to be opening a Jupyter Notebook here to learn a little bit about Python's classes and objects. Um, and we're in a, we're using this uh, website, uh, Big Data University from IBM, the Data Science Workbench.com. We're really just we're not using any of their lessons this time. We're just using the Jupyter Notebook feature that they have. Jupyter Notebook, you can install it on your own computer, but it's a little bit easier to use it uh, online just through a browser. So. We're going to go ahead and click on Jupyter Notebook, and then we're going to import uh, the uh, notebook that we're using from GitHub. Okay, and, and the URL is here. I'm pasting it in. It's in the comments or in the assignment if you're working on that. Okay, so we're going to go paste it in, hit enter, and there it's going to import. Okay, and we're using the Python 3 kernel. Okay, so um, so classes and objects. So classes are the pattern. The object is the thing you're making. Okay, so so it's a little bit hard for people to wrap their head around sometimes. Okay, so but but just relax. So so the way I want you to think about it is that the class is the cookie cutter. The object is the cookie. Okay, so the class is the pattern. The object is the thing you make out of the pattern. Right. Okay, so we have this very basic class right here. So we have class my class. Okay, we have a variable. Okay, a variable named variable in which we're storing a, a string called blah. Okay, then we have a function that we're feeding in self. Okay, so self is the actual class, right? And then the print this message inside the class, right? So, um. We'll explain why you have to include the self as a parameter a little bit later, okay? But but the first thing first, to assign the above class template to an object, you would do the following, okay? So if you have a class, that's the pattern, right? Okay, you have to use that to instantiate an object, okay? And that means to just create an instance of the object, that's your cookie, okay? So my class is the pattern, okay? We say, hey, my object x equals my class. And notice that it's my class with the parentheses after it. That's like, just like how you call a function, right? Okay, so in fact, you're calling the constructor function of the, of the class, my class. And you're saying, hey, get me that cookie cutter called my class and make me a cookie called my object x. That's all it is, okay? So essentially what you get is you get a copy of this class which you've instantiated as an object, if that makes any sense. Okay, so you went and got a copy of my class, and that copy is named my object X. Okay, and it has all the things that my class had. All right. Okay, so here we go. All right, so that's easy enough, right? So my class, we got a variable called blah, we got a function, okay, in which we put in the self, right? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we do, uh, we're going to go ahead and access a variable inside the class. So we say my object x equals my class. We, we define the class, right, by saying class my class. We've instantiated the class um, and we've created this my object x. And then we're going to access the variable for my object x, okay? All right, so we could say, For example, if we did, uh, oops, I already ran this notebook. So you guys, you want to go go ahead and do kernel restart and clear output. Okay, so basically, we're just going to restart the kernel, clear all the output out, so that you get the benefit of it. So we go ahead and run this. Okay, so notice that it prints out just as you expect, blah, right? Okay. All right, now what we can do is, so notice that I said that it's like a cookie, right? So, so my class is the pattern, right? So if we wanted to, we could create two copies, right? We can create my object X, which is a copy of my class, okay? My object Y, which is also a copy of my class, but let's say we want to take my object Y and we want to change that variable. Instead of saying blah, we want to call it yakety. Okay, all right, then we go ahead and print it out. So notice that we're printing out the variable inside one copy of the object called object X. And we're printing out a variable inside the other object called object Y. Remember, these are two separate things, just like two cookies 
coming out of the same cookie cutter. Okay. All right, so we get, of course, blah and yakety. Two words that could not be more different. <laughs> okay. So the next thing we're going to do to access a function inside of an object, you use notation similar to ac accessing a variable. Okay. So the same way here. So, so the function, right? So def, we call def function self, okay? We named the function function, which is just kind of weird, okay? But that's, but that's okay. We could have named it something else like um, my function probably would have been better, but anyway. So we instant, okay, so we have this class, right? We instantiate my object X from the pattern, you know, from the class, my class. And then we can call the function off of object X, okay, which we call a function there. And we're calling this and it should say, it should print, right, this message inside class. All right, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we have this exercise. So we have a class defined for, for vehicles. We have a class defined for vehicles. Create one, create two new vehicles, code car one and car two. Set car one to be a red convertible worth 60,000 with a name of fur okay get set car two to be a blue van named jump all right okay so our code goes right here right so we have this we have a class up here and our code goes down here okay so based upon the the, the what you know so far go ahead and try to complete this exercise go ahead and pause the video and i'll come back in just a second we'll go over it Okay, you should have paused the video there and you should be all finished with the, doing this. So, okay, so we have two, we got car one and car two, right? Okay, so we need two objects, right? We got car one, we're gonna instantiate our class, right? So we're gonna say vehicle and we're gonna do parentheses, right? So we're gonna call the constructor a vehicle for both. So we got car one, car two okay now I'm a fan of once we start to do this type of thing let's go ahead and just run it once okay okay is a car worth what the hundred dollars okay there we go okay so notice the name and color aren't set yet okay so now for car one we want the name to be fur so car one dot name now notice we use this dot notation right isn't that kind of familiar remember when we were doing strings and we said dot you know dot upper dot lower okay so notice now this should make really a lot of sense to you right so when we create a string we created a we create a string object and we were just calling a function inside of that string class right so when we instantiated a string object which it did automatically when we made a string okay uh, it came along with all these functions that were inside the class, right? Just like description is here. Okay, so so here we're setting car one. Okay, now it's a now it's just a it's a um, I always blank on the name here. It's a it's a variable, right? So uh, so so we got car one dot name, and we're gonna set that equal to fur, right? Okay, we got car one dot color and we're going to set that equal to red okay and we got car one dot value and we're going to set that now here's here's some interesting thing here all right so so notice that uh, the value is a float, right? Okay, so never take your eyes off the the types, right? So, so the value is a float. So notice, be careful not to set it as a string. You know, you want to match the, the the type of the original um, variable. Okay, so we're going to do this all over once again. Okay, so we're going to set it, the next one. We're going to set it's a blue van. Oh, we're going to set kind as a convertible, isn't it? That's nice. Uh, 
Okay. Then we're just going to go back through. Now I'm a huge fan of copying and pasting, right? So I'm going to go back through and uh, change these rather quickly here. Okay, no, no reason to um, retype things that don't need retyping. Okay, so there we have it. So uh, we got a blue van named Jump worth $10,000. We got a red Kurt convertible named Fur for it's worth $60,000. Ooh, that's fun. Okay, so, oop, I mistyped. So basically, as I was typing, I got a um, typo in there. Okay, so it looks all correct. All right, so double check your code. Uh, if you think that you have everything right, you know, you should run it. It should come out just like this. Okay, that should be your, your uh, output. Uh, once you're finished, go ahead and print it off. So print preview. And we're going to go uh, control P to print. Okay, and we're going to print the file and save it as a PDF, right? So we're going to click the button and give it a better name and a location. Then you can upload that to your assignment. If uh, you're working on working for a class, if you're working on your own, Go back in here and add something into the class. You know, try it again. Um, a good understanding of classes and objects. Now, there's all there's a lot more to learn about classes and objects. Okay, so, uh, but this is a good introduction to you know how to work with classes and objects uh, for the time being. So, uh, best of luck.